cartilage, unlike bone, can grow through two separate processes. First, it can grow through appositional growth, growth from the outside, similar to the way that the new rings on a tree trunk are added to the outside and the material in the center stays the same. In appositional growth, cells of the pyrochondrium, known as chondroblasts, lay down new cartilage matrix, and thus the cartilage expands from the pyrochondrium on its outside. Cartilage can also grow interstitially. It can grow from within. The matrix of cartilage is more pliable than that of bone, and so therefore cell division can occur within cartilage, and the cells separate from each other and uh, accumulate more cartilage matrix between them and thus push away from uh, other cells. And this area of cartilage would thus get larger because of the cell growth occurring within the piece of cartilage, not only from the outside. So this is known as interstitial growth, and it occurs in cartilage but not in bone. Cartilage can grow through appositional growth, growth from the outside. Cells of the perichondrium, known as chondroblasts, are immature cells which make new cartilage. As they get left behind, they can uh, excrete a number of substances which will form a pocket around themselves, known as a lacunae. And these chondroblasts can differentiate into the mature cells, chondrocytes. Note that there are no blood vessels in this section of cartilage, given that cartilage is an avascular tissue. All of the nutrients which reach these chondrocytes must diffuse through the matrix of the cartilage itself.